This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, July the 23rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Satellite image shows we have a bit of a mixture of uh, clouds and some clear spots here and there. Uh, we have a little bit of a weakness at 500 millibars that is helping to create some showers over West Tennessee, Northwest um, northern uh, Mississippi and northwest Alabama. On the uh, surface map, no weather features really of any significance across the southeastern United States except this high pressure system and that's basically going to be with us for much of the week ahead. On the 500 millibar chart overlaid on the uh, water vapor imagery. You can see that little weakness uh, uh, positioned with a little L over West Tennessee. Uh, we've had one of these before and it helps to uh, create a little more cloudiness and a little more showers. Helps to keep temperatures down. Temperature is not very uh, cool this morning as most places across central and north Alabama are generally in the lower 70s. Birmingham's a little bit warmer there at 77. Radar shows that we do have some showers uh, in association with that little weakness aloft, and um, it may be that we will see a little bit more in the way of showers across Mississippi and maybe the western sections of Alabama. Watch warning map is pretty well uh, populated with heat uh, advisories. Those are the, the orange areas. Uh, actual heat warnings are the reddish areas. And across the uh, northern tier of the United States, we have some of those dark green areas, and those are flash flood watches as traveling weather systems are remaining well north of our area. On the QPF, or the Quantitative Precipitation Forecast, you can see that there's a, a bit of a, a, um, an empty spot across central Alabama with not much rain expected, and that's the nature of what we're going to be dealing with over the next week. It's one of those things where I'd like to forecast something different, but when there's a chance of showers each day, that's what you have to put in the forecast, and showers will be spotty, so rainfall will be rather spotty. Storm Prediction Center for day one, that's today and into early Sunday, has an enhanced risk for severe weather, uh, primarily over uh, Wisconsin, with a slight risk affecting parts of Iowa, Minnesota, and the, the uh, eastern sections of the Dakotas, with a marginal risk over New England. On day two, there's a marginal risk over the central Great Lakes states, primarily uh, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and parts of uh, uh, the eastern sections of Minnesota, as well as uh, Lake Michigan. And then on day three, which would be Monday into early Tuesday, the marginal risk extends from the western, uh, pardon me, the eastern sections of the Ohio River Valley into New England. And the tropical Atlantic is very quiet. Uh, there is a bit of a, an area of cloudiness in the Bahamas, but nothing too uh, interesting to watch. In the eastern Pacific, uh, things are a little bit different. We still continue to have a good amount of activity there with tropical storms Georgette and Frank, and neither one of those a threat to land. All right, let's get to the 068 GFS model run. And there's our big ridge that's creating the bit of a heat problem for the eastern part of the U.S., and uh, the, or the central part of the United States. And then uh, on the uh, surface map, we see that uh, the GFS picking up on that little weakness and perhaps producing a few more showers uh, across the lower Mississippi River Valley. Sunday, the ridge begins to uh, move back to the west just a little bit. As you can see, a very strong uh, shortwave trough moving across uh, central Canada. And uh, while the traveling weather systems are going to be rain, remain north of our area, uh, we're going to stay in the soup, you might say. You can see that uh, very strong closed uh, surface low across uh, south-central Canada with the front trailing into the Great Lakes. But the front just is not going to get this far south. They just don't do that in the summertime in general. That big trough moves across and has the impact of... Uh, kind of suppressing the ridge and making the ridge move back to the west just a little bit. and uh, But that doesn't really have much of an impact on the fact that we're going to continue with showers. Uh, although it looks like by Monday we should be at least highs mainly in the lower 90s with additional showers and clouds around. Not much change in the overall pattern on Tuesday as we see a little bit of troughiness over the eastern part of uh, the country. So uh, once again, that, that's going to be good for the southeastern U.S. That troughiness remains with us on Wednesday and again on Thursday. But of course, when you look at the surface pattern, uh, it's going to be showers, and we just don't know where those showers will actually form. Friday, uh, we still have this troughiness with the ridge, the 594 uh, height contour 
is uh, over the western states, and we have a bit of a ridge over Florida, and that, that weakness over the uh, eastern part of the country, and that weakness remains with us on Saturday, but that weakness is not going to be there long. Uh, and there's a look at the surface map, and once again showing that we have uh, the possibility of showers. So showers just remain in our forecast. The troughiness remains with us through the end of next weekend, but as we head into the 1st of August, the GFS is bullish on bringing the 594 height contour back, and as it does, it, stay, it keeps the ridge with us uh, through about the 7th of August, so it doesn't look like our heat is over yet. But then again, I mean, we're ending July and moving into August, so you probably didn't expect much in the way of a change to the hot pattern. Well, I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to post the next one first thing on Sunday morning, at least by uh, 7.30 or 8. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's ever-changing weather situation. Have a great day and Godspeed.